Do you remember these guys? The Nreal Air Augmented Reality Glasses. Well, firstly, they've actually rebranded to Xreal. So these are the Xreal Air Glasses, but they're the same as last year. And actually millions of you watched my video on that and the reaction was pretty crazy because really these are some of the best, if not the best, mainstream augmented reality glasses you can buy. Chunky pair of sunglasses, pop them on, connect them to your phone or laptop, and you have a big kind of IMAX, huge over 100 inch screen right in front of your eyes. Still a very cool piece of kit, but these did come out last year. So what is new, and I wanna show you today, is this guy, the Xreal Beam, which no, is not an oversized iPod as much as it may look a little bit like it, but this is basically taking these glasses to the next level of augmented reality. So the Xreal Beam is a new accessory for the Xreal Air glasses, and it lets you connect to more devices, both wired and wirelessly. So it's kind of like a standalone device, although you will still need your laptop, your phone, or your games console, whatever it is, to actually share the content from. The X-Beam also unlocks the full potential of what they're calling the X-Beam spatial display. And so whether you're gaming, you're watching a movie, you're getting some work done, there's nothing else quite like this. Now to try and demonstrate what this looks like for me, in reality, I've actually put a little bit of tape on this motion sensor here, so it thinks that I'm wearing the glasses. And if I just put my phone up to the lens, that is Jedi Survivor playing on my PS5, displaying on my Xreal Airs. Now what I can do is change the viewing mode. So with this little orange button on the side of the beam, uh, I can switch it between smooth follow. So this is where the screen will follow my head. This is basically head tracking or head anchoring as they call it. So the screen's always in front of my eyes. Essentially you are my head right now and the screen is moving with me. Press it again and it switches to body anchor. And this is where the screen stays in a fixed position in the 3D augmented world. So I can look away from the screen, I can interact with other people, do other things. I'm literally filming this through the lens of the Xreal Air glasses. But then with body anchor mode, the screen stays in the same place so I can move around. And you can change the size of it, you can reposition it, you can uh, bring it closer towards you or farther away. And then finally, also exclusive to the X-Beam is side view. It's kind of like when you're in the YouTube app on your phone and you swap up to go to the home screen and then the video goes to that sort of minimized video player in the corner. That's kind of what side view is. So you can move it to any one of four quadrants and that way you can again interact with the world a bit better. Body tracking, head tracking or side view. And it just means you can use these x real glasses with a whole bunch of different devices and in just more ways than ever. It supports Apple AirPlay for wirelessly casting from your iPhone, your iPad, or your Mac, and also Miracast for sharing from your Android phones or Windows PCs. And then on the base of the beam, you'll see we have these two USB-C ports. As I say, one is for outputting to the glasses and one is for plugging in your devices. Or a charger, so you can keep the X-Beam topped up while you're casting your content wirelessly. Now you can simply plug your Xreal glasses into your phone or tablet or laptop and it will mirror the screen or you could open the Nebula app which is more of an AR hub and gives you access to a handful of games and apps that are optimized for the glasses. Whereas if you add the X-Beam into the mix, it doesn't need a phone, it uses its own battery to power the glasses and you have the more advanced X-Beam spatial display which gives you more viewing options and you can connect more devices. So right now I'm playing Jedi Survivor on my PS5 via the X-Beam to my Xreal Air glasses. USB-C from the glasses to the out on the beam, and then on the in on the beam, we have an HDMI port that goes into the back of the PS5. And this particular cable also has a USB-A port so it can deliver power as well. Topping on the beam without being plugged in, the X-Beam can last about three and a half hours. Huge screen, it looks fantastic because it's 1080p for each eye and also their micro OLED displays. We've also got a couple of built-in speakers which are actually pretty good and microphones as well in the glasses. Although if you wanted the best setup, I would probably get a nice pair of uh, noise canceling headphones and also put the light shader on the front. And also we have a 49 degree field of view, so I'm getting roughly that in front of my face. Uh, but one thing I am noticing with gaming is that I think the response time of the screens or the input lag is a little bit higher than I'm used to with a regular TV or a gaming monitor. So it can feel just a little bit slow to respond to your inputs. Not a problem for like simulators, RPGs like this, uh, but I probably wouldn't want to play Call of Duty or anything particularly twitchy through these. You've also got a volume rocket on the side here and actually if you long press it, it switches to a brightness uh, slider so you can increase the brightness and it is actually pretty bright. Uh, and also uh, you've got the power button which can turn off the display at the back. Now if like me you've ever tried to use your laptop or your phone while 
on holiday, the screens are never bright enough, you have to squint and you get a headache. Well, with the X-Real Airs, what you can do if you pop on the light shade, you can actually do some work. So I'm actually editing this video right now on my MacBook. I can drop the brightness on this because I'm not using the screen anymore. So whether I'm watching a movie or I'm editing on my laptop, I've got the air glasses, I've got the X-Beam, and I'm sure I can make the screen go further back, I can make it bigger, and these things are the real lifesaver when you're working by the pool. I'll tell you what though, since I first reviewed these X-Real Air glasses last year, the software and the whole UI has come such a long way, particularly the anti-shake stabilization, because despite how it may look from my attempts at filming through the glasses, everything is impressively smooth and stable. There's very little in the way of jittering or aliasing, there's no screen door effect, no visible pixels, to my eyes at least, and also the X-Real Airs are the first AR device with a TUV Rhineland low blue light and also flicker-free certification. So they're designed for eye comfort, and I've happily watched a two-hour movie in these with a 201-inch theater screen right in front of my eyes, which you can actually expand to over 300 inches if paired with the beam, although at that point you're limited to the 49-degree field of view of the air glasses, so then you aren't seeing the entire screen. But importantly, it never felt particularly uncomfortable. Plus, they bundle three different sizes of nose clips in the box, the arms of the glasses have three adjustment levels, and given this is essentially just a big pair of sunglasses and not a full-on headset, it's a lot more comfortable and also a whole lot more subtle. Although, you still may get a few looks walking down the street with these. So you can buy the X-Real Air glasses and the X-Beam either individually or as a bundle, and as I say, the glasses themselves are the same as last year, so if you've already picked up a pair, there's no need to buy them again. But what do you think? Let me know what you make of the X-Real Air and the new X-Real Beam in the comments below, and also I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check them out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this video, which I must admit did take quite a while to make because it's quite tricky showing this stuff off, then a like and subscribe would be amazing, and I'll see you next time right here on The Tech Chat.